Uh, I'm here to teach you about uh, muscle energy for a somatic dysfunction in the lumbar area. Um, there are three different types of somatic dysfunction down there. You can have a type 1 or a type 2, and there's two categories of type 2. We're going to talk about um, the extension dysfunction of type 2. So there's a nickname for it called SU, S-U-U-E. Um, the S stands for Sims position, which is a position that puts the patient into flexion. The U, um, first U is for the upper um, transverse product process, of this, so that's the side rotation would be up in this case. The second U is for the patient pushing up, um, and the E is just for extension. So first, I'm going to make it simple, so I'm going to use um, L4, so I'll go to the iliac crest, find the iliac crest, and I would slide directly down and find the transverse process there, or the spinous process there. I could check to make sure that um, that is the correct one because there can be anatomical differences between people. So I'd feel for a spinous process below, and then I would feel below that, and I should be on the sacrum so I wouldn't feel a nice spinous process. So from there, I now monitor the transverse processes there, and I'd ask the patient to get into Sims position. So that is where they're hugging the table and they're getting a little flexion of the spine. Uh, when you do this, you want to make sure that um, the hips are still aligned with the table. Uh, you also want to make sure that the patient, you're not supposed to take your hand off, but you want to make sure that the patient is uh, close enough on the table for you to be able to put their legs off the edge of the table and it not be discomforting. Um, so then you would refine the same spot, you would monitor, you could switch hands, and now you're going to get the flexion component of the hips. So you slide your legs forward in the flexion until you feel movement there. I would then sit down and I'd let her legs hang off the side of the table. Um, again, I'm still monitoring at this one point, and I would push down into the floor, so she would have a little bit more flexion. Now I feel it. So now I would push down and she would push back up, and I'm creating an isometric contraction with about five pounds of force, not very hard. Counting to five, and then relax. Count to two with the relaxation, and then I push further into the barrier. And then I have it contract again for five seconds. And then relax and push further into the barrier again. And then repeat one more time. Not so hard, it's got to be isometric. And good, relax, passively move beyond that point. And then I would bring her back to neutral. And then I would reassess.